Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. In this video, so we are going to so discuss about the challenge number Core Java challenge number 12. See, this challenge is about inheritance concept. Inheritance. See, here in this challenge, what you have to prove is so according to the theory in the process of in the process of child object creation in parent child relation nothing but in inheritance concept in the process of child object creation jvm constructs parent object first constructs parent object first it's because things generally if you want to construct the child object it has to it has to extends the behavior of a parent object it has to extend the behavior of parent object. So, first of all, parent object construction is required. That's why it will construct the parent object and then and then it extends the behavior behavior of parent object of parent object into child just to construct just to construct it will extend the behavior of parent object into child now here you have to prove you have to write one practical code snippet that proves whenever you create object for child first jvm construct the parent object and then it will construct the child object sir how can we prove right here it is a in the process of object creation constructor calling is mandatory without calling the constructor we cannot create the object generally so just take the help of constructors take the help of constructors to this proof whenever you create object for a child first of all it will execute the constructor of a parent and then only it will come and execute the child right to that one you have to write the code just take two classes parent and child and define the constructors in parent class and child class with any message inside that constructor whenever you create object for child then automatically first parent constructor will call and then child constructor so all these statements what i have given just please convert into the code so then that is the practical proof that JVM instantiates parent object first and then child object. Hope you comment your code. 